Let me speak about goals for a sec. Okay, 10 minutes. I promise. You know, it's important we speak about things that matter to us because the way you grow, the way you get to the next level is by setting goals and smashing those goals. That's how you grow. That's how you develop. That's how you get to the next level. And I know your goals are important to you and my goals are important to me. And I know we've had this conversation. You know, somebody maybe every day will speak to me about your goals, you know, but let's speak about why you're not achieving them. I know that there are those that you're achieving, but let's speak about those that you're not achieving. And I, for many people, they form the biggest bulk of the goals. You know, what we don't achieve was more than what we achieved in, you know, in any year. And, um, you know, why don't you achieve your goals? Number one, and this is very, very important. You set goals that you're not passionate about. Anytime you set a goal, you're not passionate about it. It's irrelevant to your life. We usually have those type of goals that it, it only feels good to have such a goal because, well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for me to write that I want to read more books in this year. I want to read uh, a book a week. I want to read, a, but you're not really passionate about it. Uh, you know, you set yourself up for failure. And you start seeing yourself like, I feel like you're not doing enough, but you're not even passionate about that thing. And, and it means also that it, it doesn't mean that much to you. It doesn't mean that much to you. How much does that goal mean to you? Why is it important that you read a book a week? You read a book a month. Maybe that is it. Why is it important that you lose 5 kgs? You know, we, we need to have purpose around goals. Why we are setting goals. Otherwise, we don't have the drive and we always have to be pushed. And, or even it just doesn't work. Okay. That's number one. Number two. You set goals uh, that are vague. Setting goals that are vague. And, and a vague goal is saying like, I want to lose weight um, in 2023. I want to lose weight, you know, uh, in this year. I want to uh, build a house for my parents this year. That's a good goal, but it's vague because, first of all, you haven't said how much you need you know, how much you need, how much, uh, what are the deadlines that you're looking at? You haven't set that. So if you say, I want to lose five kgs, um, you know, I want to lose weight this year. That's a very vague goal. You know, I want to buy a car this year. That's a vague goal. You want to say, I want to buy a car this week, um, which will cost me this much by this month. So that I know every month I need to be saving this amount of money, this amount of money, this amount of money. Every month I need to be, at least if, if you want to lose weight, to say, okay, I won't be taking fries or uh, fast foods. I'll visit the gym three days a week. Like You need that. That's, that you need to be, you know, we usually say the goal must be smart, must be specific, must be measure, measurable and all that. It needs to be, it must be timely. Yeah, it needs to be achievable. It needs to be that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a vague goal and you don't achieve it. And for many years for me, I kept saying I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. And I was not doing anything. It was just vague. And I never achieved until I gave myself a timeline. I gave myself a timeline and I was willing to put in the work. And I was even working in a program. Like I had to pay a program, a 10-day program. I paid for it and, and, and that's when I saw results. And I was able to lose 5 kgs. No, 4.5 kgs, kgs in 10 days. Yo. And my life drastically changed. Yeah, so you don't set big goals. Otherwise, uh, you'll always find yourself pursuing uh, 2014 goals in 2024. In 20, <laughs> for whole 10 years. <laughs> yeah, you'll be pursuing, uh, you know, 2015 goals, 2022 goals in 2025, in 2030. And you don't want that. You don't want that kind of life. Three. The goals are just in your head. Somehow, the, everything you want to do is just in your head. You never share it out. You never write it down. And I know that, you know, we, always, we all have this thing of, you know, it's my goals, my dreams. You know, I don't have to speak about it. It's my life. Let me tell you, even your life, you can't manage it alone. You need other people to help you manage it. <laughs> That's why we are 7.8 billion of us in the world. Because we all need each other to manage through you know, to help each other through life. And even God uses other people. 
God uses people to bless us. God uses uh, people uh, to take us to the next level. So don't don't just hold your dreams and your goals to yourself. Like you know, they're mine, and I don't need to share them out. The thing is just in your head. You know, I want to write a book. It's just in my head. Until by the way you write that goal on paper, you know, you write it down that I want to write a book. This is the title. Uh, come up with the, you know, with the chapters or something. But you write it somewhere. And for me, I always say, by the way, write your goals where you can always be seeing them. Your dreams. I always speak about I'm a life coach, and I speak about having um, um, a vision board. A vision board is it's very important so that now it's a picture of what you see in your life. It's a picture of your dreams, a picture of a vision of what you see in your life. And you put it somewhere on the wall. Put it somewhere on the wall. And I usually say, put it in your bedroom. A place where it's the first place you, you look, you know, when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. So when you look uh, to the to the walls, you see my dreams. I'm seeing my, my palatial house. Uh, I'm seeing my Lamborghini, I'm seeing my, <laughs> all of those dreams, yeah, you're seeing dreams of your family, of a very happy family, you're seeing that picture and it's in your mind. And you wake up with that picture, it even inspires you, it inspires you through the day, even when you're feeling tired, like you can't wake up, like it inspires you to wake up and move and grind and you want to make it happen. You know, so write your goals down. If it's just in your head, it's just a wish, it's not a goal, it's not a dream, and you're not achieving it. Okay. <laughs> Number four. You know, I promise you, say in 10 minutes, we will be done. Number four, you don't have a plan. You just never have a plan. And a plan is important. I believe in planning. And because you cannot just wake up and decide to go on a journey. You need to know, um, you know, where am I going? Who am I going with? How am I getting there? What do I need for the journey? Count the cost. Even the word of God says, Jesus said, count the cost. What will it take you um, or what will it cost you for you to achieve your goal? What will it cost you for you to uh, build uh, that house you want to build for your parents? What will it cost? You know, you need to be able to know that. And the thing is, let me tell you, by the way, about something about planning. One minute of planning saves you 10 minutes of execution. When you're moving and you have a plan, it's much better. I'd rather you take more time in planning. Like now, uh, you know, take some time. And I always speak about taking time to think. Have time when you, you're just thinking and, and set apart thinking time. I know we are always thinking, we're always with our minds, we're always thinking. But set apart, set apart quality thinking time. And especially in the mornings or when you know your mind is fresh, you can focus, you know, and just plan what I want to do next, what I want to do for the next year, what I want to do for the next month, what I want to do for tomorrow, what I want to do for next week, what I want to do. By the way, plan uh, your the, the year, if, if it's like a new year, plan it, you know, the, in the previous year. Plan it in the December of the previous year. If you're planning for a new month, plan it before that month comes. What the things that you want to do, major things you want to accomplish, plan them before. If it's for a new week, plan on the on the Sunday evening, on the week before, at least the Sunday evening. And if it's tomorrow, plan this evening or tomorrow. Don't just wake up and that's when you're planning every you waste time. Take a lot of time planning, but plan also at the right time. Okay. Planning is key. And I usually say, if something is not working, you have been pursuing doing things, maybe you have been having one marketing strategy, it's not working, no sales, little or nothing results at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year, change the strategy. You can change the plan. You know, we don't uh, change um, We don't change the, 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 the goals. We change the plan. Change the plan. So for me, Chances are, why you're not achieving your goals, you don't even have a plan. You don't have a plan, you're planning to fail. And you don't want you to fail. Number five, and the last one, no accountability. You lack accountability. Let me tell you, your goals are yours. But when you share, the, we even say, a problem shared is a problem half solved, at least. It's solved. 
<laughs> so share your dreams get a life coach get a mentor get an accountability partner somebody who can ask you hard questions somebody who can push you somebody who can have your best can can make sure that your your goals and dreams that you hold dear are your priority you need such a person and and a person who believes in you a person who cannot take you for granted a person who has your best interest at heart get an accountability partner and that's why it's very important to work with life coaches that's why it's very important to to have friends who believe you when you tell them of your big lofty dreams they can believe in you they they don't judge you they don't uh you know question you and they believe in you and they want to help you and they have your best interest get accountability where there is accountability there is performance and and you need someone who can hold you accountable to things that you really hold dear and things that you really want to achieve get such a person and if you need any help i'm a life coach myself and i help pe- people um achieve their dreams and goals and make sure they are their dreams remain their priority so reach out please subscribe comment let me hear from you and uh please Turn on the notification bell. Thank you.